Are you ready to learn about the ABCs of physics? Yes. Yes. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So this book is called ABCs of Physics and it's written by Chris Ferry. A is for atom. All things are made of atoms. Atoms are made of protons. Atom. Atoms, yeah. This whole thing is an atom. Atoms. Yeah. And they're made of protons. The protons are the blue ones. Electrons, which is the green ones. And neutrons, which is the pink ones. Atoms combine atoms, to make... Atoms! 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 Yeah, the whole thing is an atom. When atoms smash together, they can create a nuclear reaction. And B is for black hole. A black hole is a star so dense that not even light can escape its gravity. The boundary where a black hole occurs is called the event horizon. Many physicists believe that a very big black hole exists at the center of our galaxy. Yeah, see, all the lines are going down into a black hole. C is for charge. A charge can be positive or negative. A charge is the physical property of matter that causes electrostatic attraction and repulsion. Opposite charges are attracted and like charges are repelled. D is for diffraction. Diffraction happens when a wave hits an object. Waves can be made up of different things like liquid, light or sound. When waves hit more than one object, multiple diffraction events can create beautiful designs called interference patterns. These are in interference patterns over here. E is for Einstein. Albert Einstein invented the theory of relativity. Einstein is considered by many to be the greatest scientist who ever lived. He made groundbreaking contributions to statistical physics and quantum theory. F is for fusion. Fusion happens when two atoms collide and create a new atom. See, look. Look at these two. They're like crashing into each other. Choo, choo, bang! And then they, they combine together. For some atoms, a lot of energy is created by fusion. The sun is constantly fusing hydrogen into helium. G is for gravity. Gravity is the force that brings us back down when we jump. See, look, the moon is going around and around. Gravity causes things to be attracted to each other, like the earth and the moon. Gravity keeps the moon in orbit around the earth. He H is for heat. What's this? Heat. Heat. But what's the picture of? A fire. Fire. Very good. Heat is the transfer of energy from something hot to something cold. Fire is hot and gives off heat to its cooler surroundings. The sun is very hot and gives heat to the earth. Kookaburras. Yeah, you can hear some kookaburras in the background. I is for ion. An ion is an atom that has more or fewer electrons than it has protons. An ion with more electrons... Atoms! Yeah, yeah. atoms. It's the atoms. Yeah. An ion with more electrons than protons has a negative charge. And an ion with few electrons has a positive charge. Making an ion is called ionization. So I presume this has a negative charge because it has more. Actually, no, this one. See, there's two protons. One, two. Okay. And then here is like one electron. So it's got fewer electrons. So this one is a positively charged ion. And then this is a negatively charged ion because there are three electrons, which is more than two protons. J is for joule. A joule is a standard of unit of energy. One joule is the amount of energy released when an object that weighs 100 grams is dropped one meter. This is about the size of a large apple falling three feet to the ground. The joule is named 
after physicist James Joule, who worked on thermodynamics. Case for Kelvin. 300 Kelvin is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. A Kelvin is a standard unit of temperature. 80 degrees Fahrenheit is about 300 Kelvin. The Kelvin was named after physicist William Thompson, who later became Lord Kelvin. L is for liquid. 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius is ice. And then if you hit 100 degrees Celsius and or 212 Fahrenheit, it becomes steam. The liquid becomes steam. Liquid, solid and gas are the three primary states of matter. If a liquid gets too hot, it turns to gas. If it gets too cold, it turns to solid. Water is a liquid form of the compound H2O. Boiling water turns H2O into gas. Freezing water turns it into ice. Yeah, so the water is frozen. It turns to ice and it's a liquid. Then here it becomes a gas. That's when you boil water, it becomes steam and gas. That's very hot. You don't want to touch water when it's very hot. And remember, when you bump your head, we give you ice. M is for magnet. A magnet is something that creates a magnetic field. The field pushes and pulls on the other magnets and metals. The earth itself is a giant magnet that causes all compass, compass needles to point north. You've seen a magnet before. On the fridge, we have lots of magnets. And you've played with them, you know, you've got your letter magnets. N is for Newton. A Newton is a standard unit of force. It is named after physicist Isaac Newton. Newton is famous for his laws of motion, which govern the dynamics of matter under the influence of forces. He also invented calculus. O is for optics. Look at the rainbow. Optics is the study of how light interacts with matter. Optics helped with the invention of eyeglasses. Cameras and telescopes. After the quantum nature of light was discovered, the study of optics led to lasers. Oh, look at that. Is that a laser? P is for photon. Photons have no mass and no electric charge. A photon is an elementary particle that carries electromagnetic force, which includes light, lasers, radio, and x-rays. You remember when we went shopping? We saw this. We saw when we went to check out and the, uh, the lady at the checkout was going beep, beep. That's what this is. It's a little light and there's a barcode. Mm. Q is for quantum. Remember the quantum book we just read about? A quantum is the smallest unit of energy. A quantum is the amount of energy an electron uses to travel from one orbit to another in an atom. Quantum theory is a study of energy at microscopic scales. Yeah. Quantum engineers study these effects at macroscopic scales. R is for relativity. We're almost there. We're almost at the end of the ABCs, Penny. We're up to R now. The principle of relativity is that some rules of physics are the same for every observer. From this principle, Albert Einstein derived that the effect of gravity is due to a warping of space-time. This theory has predicted many extraordinary things such as black holes, gravitational waves, and wormholes. S is for string theory. String theory is a new theory of physics. String theory combines quantum theory with relativity to explain how the universe works. It is the idea that everything is made of tiny vibrating strings rather than particles like protons and electrons. <sighs> T is for thermodynamics. Ooh, thermodynamics is a study of how we can use energy to do work for us. Thermodynamics also explains how heat and temperature are related to energy. A famous law of thermodynamics says that heat cannot flow from something cold to something hot. Got a few more letters left. U is for uncertainty. Uncertainty is when we do not know something. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle states that the more we know about something is, the less we know about where it is going. V is for vacuum. Look, there's nothing. There's nothing. No picture. Because vacuum is a space that has nothing in it. Even outer space has some particles floating around. The idea of vacuum is useful for thinking about what would happen in an ideal conditions to carry out experiments. Oh, we've only got three more letters left, Penny. W is for wavelength. Wavelength is how far apart waves are. See, there's one wave, two waves. Repeating patterns like ripples in water or vibrations on a string are called waves. 
The distance over which the pattern repeats is called the wavelength. We can hear sound waves with wavelengths as little as one inch. Oh yeah, you pointed at this one. What is this? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a picture of a hand. X is for X-ray. X-ray radiation is high energy light that we cannot see. X-rays have very short wavelengths and can go through our skin, but not our bones. This makes them useful for medicine and security. Should we have two more letters left? Y is for hmm, yttrium. Yttrium is one of the many elements in the periodic table. One more, let's skip all that. Z is for z zero point. Zero point energy is the lowest amount of energy a thing can have. Before quantum theory, it is thought that things could have zero energy. Quantum theory, however, predicts that the lowest possible energy is a thing is not zero, but rather than the thing's ground state. The amount of energy is called zero point energy. We finished. <laughs> That's a long book. <laughs>